So, welcome back everyone. And Eagle Eyed Craig has actually just spotted the two chicks from the blacksmith lapwings. So we've got one just in the water at the back and then the other one was actually just in the foreground. I think yeah it's just gone just gone behind the sandbank there. Oh there it is yeah just in the left of the screen. Very very cool. So you you were saying these are about two or three weeks old, is that right? Uh, bit older. bit older. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen them for two or three weeks. So apparently there was three. So that's not bad if there's still two. And the third one might be around still. Now they're quite far away from the parents, but the parents are still around. Oh no, that, I was actually getting quite confused because I could hear the parents, but I couldn't see them. So those are the parents there. Got the, the uh, black and the gray. And they sound like a, a hammer hitting an anvil. That's where they get the name from, Blacksmith Lapwing. But they're still going to be around to protect the chicks, even though the chicks you can see if we're, were feeding by themselves. And that's very characteristic of the wading birds, especially. Uh, so as soon as they hatch, they're fairly self-sufficient. They just need protection, really. Uh, that's That could be the third one then, or is that... Oh no, that one's the other one, yeah. So we're still just seeing two at the moment. So what the parents would do if there's any predators around, they would actually mob. Uh, so they would actually take flight and dive bomb any of the, uh, the predators, try and force them away from where the chicks are. And I have seen them do that so even when they're on the nest and if people walk towards the nest, they'll actually do it to people as well. And many different species will do that to try and uh, force a predator out of the area and quite often if one bird is attacking you'll get some other birds joining in so it's like a community thing just to get the predators out the way. <laughs> 